Here's my dirt bikes. Here's my new Harbor Freight folding trailer. And here's my new recessed wheel chocks that fold flat when you're not using them that we're about to install and get the dirt bikes mounted with these. I really like these because you can store your straps in them when you're not using them. And if you need the trailer for something else besides dirt bikes, important feature of these recessed wheel chocks where it allows the Harbor Freight trailer to fold up and sit flush. End up just where I need them. I want them almost all the way forward so that we have enough tongue weight. I got them spaced far enough so that my handlebars won't touch and that my foot pegs will still be inside and I'm gonna time down from the foot pegs. And there we go, job complete. Uh, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, they're nice and even, they fold down flat. Store my straps in there. So uh, now let's get some bikes on here and see what it looks like. So now that I got one of the bikes on there, got it set up on the wheel chalk all the way forward, we're gonna put these little D-ring anchors and attach them to the foot pegs here. So we're gonna place it slightly forward of the foot peg to give a little uh, give the bike a little forward pressure to keep pressure on that front wheel and keep it pulled forward um, and we're gonna mount it right here slightly forward so now that we got the bike up there it's time to cinch it down I like to use these cam buckles with carabiners. So we'll just run it through that loop and then hook it on to our, the other end of our carabiner and clip that on the foot peg there. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. There we go, this thing is strapped in. Now, if we hit some bumps, I mean, this sucker's secure. I'm knocking it, it ain't going nowhere. So now let's check suspension compression because we don't want to mess up the seals. That is right about nine inches high. This freestanding, 10 inches. So I did about an inch of compression, so your seals should be good. Now let's work on the second bike, mounting them in the same locations, a little bit forward. Now with the second bike up there, and tighten it up. There we go, it's on there. Thank you. 
So I just took the trailer on a road test. And even though the bikes were secure and there was no fear of them falling over, they leaned, at least the bigger bike, the CRF 230, leaned when I would take turns. Just, just a little, it would lean. And then as soon as I would straighten up for my turn, it would go back upright. So I went ahead and added two by four right under each bike. And now it's as firm as a rock. So here is the road test with the two by fours under the center of the frame. And there we have it, super stable. Thanks for watching. Links to the stuff I used are in the description. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.